Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a great weekend. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do ordinary least squares regression in ArcGIS. So first, let's see the data that I'm going to use. So this is a shape file, which has some point data. And as you can see, I have the rainfall and the erodibility data. So what I want to do is, I want to understand the contribution of the rainfall towards the erodibility factor. And we all know that the more the rainfall is going to definitely increase the soil erodibility. But I just want to use this regression to demonstrate how that is actually true. So let's go to the Act Toolbox. Under the Spatial Statistics tool, click on the Modeling Spatial Relationships and click on the Ordinary Least Squares. So let's input our data and the unique ID field point ID. I'm going to leave the output features class to be the default and I'm sure you're wondering why these variables are like this. Anyway, the grid code, uh, it's the rainfall, while the raster value, it's the erodibility. This is because I exported this from the raster, from a raster file format, and I think when you export it, the, the name of the field doesn't change, even though I've already renamed, as you saw in the attribute table. Here we can still see them as it was. So anyway, my dependent variable, that is the outcome, is the erodibility. So it's going to be the raster value. And the explanatory variable, which is the predictor, is going to be the rainfall. So it's going to be the grid code. So since this is just a demonstration, you can use as many variables. You can try to understand other things that affect the erodibility. Things like, let's say, relief. You can input that. And after that, you just click on OK. And using more explanatory variables is even better because it's going to give you a better explanation of why this variable affects the other variable. That's basically why we do regression because we want to understand the relationship between things and so that we can use that to predict. And so, as you can see, um, it's ready. So let's go to geoprocessing and click on results. So this is how the results look like. And let's go to messages. So this is the summary of the results of this regression. As you can see, I was doing a regression uh, between the raster value and the grid code. And you can see that the R squared is 0 0.99. That means that erodibility is 99% explained by the rainfall. So that means that rainfall is 99% responsible for the changes in the erodibility, which makes sense, right? And the fact that it has no negative sign means it is a positive relationship. That means when the rainfall increases, the erodibility increases, and that makes sense. So if you had done such an analysis and you find a negative relationship, that means there's something wrong with your data. And that's how you interpret this kind of result. That means that rainfall explains 99% of the change in the erodibility. And when we go back to the standard deviation results, as you can see here, you have standard deviation ranging from negative 2.5 to greater than 2.5. And standard deviation means that it shows the difference between the observed and the predicted value. So when the standard deviation is less, it means that the predicted and the, the predicted values and the observed values are close. So that's good because it means that the prediction model is accurate. And it's always better to to have many variables so that 
prediction is more accurate so when you open the attribute table you can be able to see the residuals and those are the errors for the for the model and you can see the previous that is the the observed rainfall and the estimated rainfall and this is the standard residuals which have been mapped here and obviously you can always change the symbology and so when we go to symbology you can always change the colors let's see to that and you can reclassify you want if you want to so that's basically how you do the OLS regression the most important thing is the statistics that are output the final results those statistics the adjusted R squared is what tells you how the relationship is the nature of the relationship thank you so much for watching